The Challenger expedition was an important scientific voyage of discovery that took place about 150 years ago. She was named after the ship the sailors and scientists lived, travelled and worked on. She was called HMS Challenger and she was a small warship on loan from the Royal Navy. She was specially converted, she was rebuilt and changed from being a warship into being a floating scientific laboratory. The expedition was important because, for the first time really, scientists were focused on the ocean itself. Before this, explorers and scientists had travelled across the oceans to discover what was on the other side, to discover new lands or to chart the coasts. This voyage was different. For the first time, scientists wanted to discover not just what was across the oceans, but what was underneath the ocean. They wanted to find answers to questions people have been asking for hundreds of years. How deep was the ocean? What was at the bottom of the sea? Could anything live at the bottom of the sea? What would those creatures be like? To answer those questions, the scientists spent nearly four years on board the ship, travelling 4,000 nautical miles across all parts of the ocean, stopping off at 362 different places uh, to take measurements and record different information. Here at the museum, we've actually recreated one of the labs uh, on board the ship. It's actually based on one of the drawings made at the time. So in effect, you can step into the drawing to experience what it was like to be actually a scientist on board. Here you can see some of the equipment and instruments the scientists would need to do their work, uh, dissecting, uh, recording and preserving the specimens. And the other thing you need to remember is, of course, they were doing their work as the ship was moving, so they were doing scientific experiments on a moving floor, so very difficult. Because this was a completely new type of science, the scientists had to invent their own equipment and their own instruments in order to do their work and study the oceans. And in fact, one of the biggest legacies from this expedition was a completely new type of science, the study of the oceans, oceanography.